This video is brought to you by MathGalaxy.com. Here we'll be reviewing division with one-digit divisors. Just as subtraction is the reverse of addition, division is the reverse of multiplication. For example, 743 divided by 4 is asking 4 times what will give you 743. One way of thinking about this is as a sharing process. For example, if you had 7 boxes of candy, 100 candies each, and 4 bars, 10 candies each, and 3 single candies, how many can you give to each of 4 people if you share equally? The traditional method starts from the left. So if you have seven boxes, you can give each of the four one box that uses up four, and there are three left. So we share the boxes. And the traditional method would bring the next number down. But what's really going on is that you're converting the remainder to the next smaller size. So those three boxes become 30 bars, or tens. And we also have the original four tens. So that's what you're doing when you bring the next number down. And whenever you bring a number down, you have to share that size. So for each gets eight bars, it uses up 32, and we have two bars left. So here we share those bars. Okay, and we don't throw these two bars away. We convert them to the next smaller size. Those two bars become 20 single candies. Plus we had three other single candies. So now we share those. Each gets five. That uses up 20. And we have three left. So we share those. So at each subtraction, the remainder should be less than the divisor. Otherwise, you haven't shared enough. For example, if we gave them 4 each here that we use up 16, we'd have 7 left over. But 7 would allow us to share uh, one more round. So each of the four people get 185 candies, plus we had 3 remaining. Here, if you're sharing 612 candies among three people, each gets two boxes that uses up all six, and we have none left over. So we share those, and we don't have any boxes to convert to tens, so we just bring down the one ten. And whenever you start a new size, if you don't have enough to share, you have to put a zero here. And that uses up none. We still have the 10 left. So what do we do with that 10? Well, we break it into 10 ones. And we have two other ones. So now we share the ones. Each gets 4. That uses up 12 and none left. So we share those. So each of the three people get 204 candies and none left. This is a problem where there are zeros in the quotient. So you have to be careful with those that whenever you start a new uh, size you have to try to share it. If you can't you need to put a zero there because if you don't the answer would be 24, which would be wrong. An alternative method is to do successive approximations. For example, how many multiples of 5 will get you to 3897? And one way is to use multiples of 10. So here, 1,000 multiples of 5 would be too high. That would be 5,000. So let's start with 100 multiples of 5, which accounts for 500 of the 3897. That leaves 3397. And if 100 multiples are 500, 200 multiples are going to be 1,000. That leaves 2397. And if 200 multiples are 1,000, 400 are going to be 2,000. 
leaving 397. And we can't do uh, 100 multiples, so now we have to go to multiples of 10. So 10 multiples are 50. That leaves 347. And if 10 multiples are 50, 20 multiples are 100. Leaves 247. And if 20 multiples are 100, 40 multiples are 200. And we have 47 left. And now we're down to single multiples. Uh, five nines are 45. And our final remainder is 2. So to get the total number of multiples, we just add these up. So that's 700, 10, 30, 70, so 779 multiples of 5. So here you can use any combination of multiples. Uh, it makes it easier if you, the, if you use those with just one non-zero digit. That way the multiplication part becomes a lot easier. This method takes uh, a bit more writing, as all the alternative methods do. But the point is to understand our counting system, and in this case, what division means. Because ultimately, students will be using calculators for any serious work. Here's another example. We could start with 100 multiples of 9. That accounts for 900 of the 36, 25. And we have left 27, 25. So uh, 300 multiples of this will give us 3 times that. So 300 multiples gives us 2,700. And 25 left. And next 2 multiples give us 18 and 7 remainder. So our total number of multiples is 402. So note here that we have a zero in the quotient, but we didn't have the kind of extra work that we had to do in the traditional method. Aside from sharing and dividing things into equal size groups, division is used to find averages. For example, if in three days you drove 86, 54, and 70 miles, you drove a total of 210 miles. You divide that by the number of days three. That tells you if you drove at 70 miles evenly for the three days, you would have reached the same total. So averages are a way of evening things out. This has been a review of division with one-digit divisors. If you want more practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. Thank you for listening.